Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli Connect. So in today's video, we will learn how to create Facebook groups post from webhook response. So here, let's say that you're capturing the response by using a webhook. So now, whenever a new response is captured, then by using the same response, I wish to create a Facebook group post. So over here to do this, I need to integrate both of these applications. For that, I will be using Pabli Connect, where my trigger application will be webhook by Pabli and my action application will be Facebook. So to learn how I set up this integration, follow me through the screen. In this video, we will learn that how you can create Facebook group post from webhook response. So let's say that I have collected information to create a post in my Facebook group over here in Google Sheets. And now by using webhook by Pabli, I will capture the response from Google Sheets. And then with the captured response, I wish to create it as a Facebook group post. So to integrate and automate this entire process, I will sign in to my Pabli Connect account. But if you are a new user, you can click on the sign up for free button and at the time of account creation, you will get 100 tasks for free. So as an existing user, I will simply sign in. So now this is the all applications page by Pabli. I will go to Pabli Connect and click on access now to reach our dashboard. So this here is my dashboard and to create a new workflow on my right hand side corner, I need to click on this create workflow button and now in this dialog box appearing, I need to give my workflow a name. So I'm naming it as create Facebook group post from webhook response and over here on my left hand side, you can see that there are different folders I have created. So I want to add in the folder by the name of Facebook and now I will click on create. As I did that, now I have arrived on a very important window which consists of trigger and action. So basically trigger and action are those two important principles of Pabli Connect on which this entire automation and integration will depend. Trigger says when this happens, action says do this. Basically action is the response of your trigger application. So in a workflow, you can only have one trigger application but you can have multiple action applications. So now over here moving to my trigger window, as my use case suggests that is to create Facebook group posts from webhook response. So in my trigger window, I will be selecting the trigger application as webhook and here it is. And now over here you can see a webhook URL is given along with the instruction. So read this instruction given carefully because this webhook URL will help us to connect with the application from where we want to capture the response. So now what I will do is I will simply copy this webhook URL and I want to capture the response from Google Sheets. So I will take you to my Google Sheet and here I have already created this. So over here it is by the name of Fashion Spreadsheet. Now to connect that webhook URL with Google Sheets, I need to go to extensions and I should have an extension of Pabli Connect webhooks. If you don't have it, you can simply go to add-ons. And now over here in the search bar, you can search for Pabli Connect webhooks. So here you can see that I've already installed this Pabli Connect webhooks. So it says installed. I will simply close this. Now I will again go back to extensions, go to Pabli Connect webhooks and click on initial setup. So now over here in this initial setup, you can see that the selected sheet is sheet 1. So in my spreadsheet, I only have one sheet. So it is selected over here automatically. Moving to the webhook URL. So the webhook URL that we have copied from Pabli Connect, we will simply paste it over here. After pasting it, moving to the trigger column. So trigger column is basically your final data column. So over here in my spreadsheet, B is the final data column. And here I've mentioned B as my trigger column. And now I will click on submit. So now as I did that, you can see that the setup is configured successfully. And now I will simply close this. Again, I will go back to extensions, go to Pabli Connect webhooks and click on send on event. So now whenever a new row will be added or updated over here, then the response will be automatically captured by Pabli Connect. And now over here, I will fill the details for the post in both of these columns. So the message goes by this and over here I have added the image URL as well. So now I will take you back to Pabli Connect to show you the captured response. And now over here in Pabli Connect, you can see that we have received the response. Over here, you can see the message that we have added in our Google Sheets. 
you can see the image URL along with the spreadsheet name, spreadsheet ID, sheet name and the trigger column along with row index. So now over here that means in Pabli Connect that the webhook response is successfully captured over here. And now moving further, as my objective was to create Facebook post from the webhook response. So as I've got the webhook response over here in Pabli Connect, so over here in my action application, I will be searching for Facebook groups. And here it is. After selecting Facebook groups, I need to select the action event that is to post a new message. So I'm selecting the action event. And now I need to establish a connection between Facebook and Pabli Connect. So I've already opened Facebook in one of my tabs and now I will simply click on connect. And over here, if you have an existing connection, you can go with the same or you can simply add a new connection. So over here now I will click on connect with Facebook groups and here you can see that the connection is successful. So now you can see that there are some fields given. So now moving to group. So over here in my Facebook groups, you can see that these are the groups that I have. So in this drop down, you can see the name of all those groups. So over here, I will be selecting the group where I want to create a post. So that group will be by the name of deals and information. So I'm selecting it. So now moving to message over here, I need to enter the message that is to be posted in the group. So I will simply map the message from the webhook response that we have received. So over here is the message. I have mapped it. Moving to the link part, I will again map it from the response that we have received. And here I have mapped the link. So why I have used mapping because the details that you will map in these fields these details will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time. So basically this field of message and link will be replaced every time whenever a new row will be added or updated in Google Sheets. So now over here and over here, if I would have added the data manually, then whenever a new row will be added or updated. So these fields would have not been updated and the workflow would have got stuck. So now over here, an important note is given that in order to use Facebook groups with Pabli Connect, you must have installed the Pabli Connect app in your Facebook group. So I have already installed this Pabli Connect app in my Facebook group. So now I will simply click on save and send test request to see the response. And over here you can see that our ID is received in response. That means this is a positive response. And now I will take you to my Facebook group. Here you can see the message along with the image. So that means this integration and automation was successful. Not just these applications, you can integrate a lot more applications with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you have any doubts regarding Pabli, reach us at support at And if you have any queries, you can visit us at forum.pabli.com. If you have any pricing related query, you can visit this link. So if you like this video, please share it with your friends and colleagues and do not forget to like, share and subscribe our channel.